Right, another lesson on electrical and electronic principles. Uh, in this session, I'm going to teach you the forward bias mode of a diode. So this circuit is built using multisim. You can do this very simple circuit. Um, a source of supply, a resistor of 1K, 1 kilo ohm, and a general purpose diode, in this case 1N. 4001. You can find all those on the basic. So you go to capacitor, you find the capacitor, you go to if you want diode, you have to go to diodes and type that value, or you just pick. A general purpose. If you go down a little bit, uh, you can pick any of these really. Um, or we can pick a virtual diode. But I would suggest you just use a normal general purpose diode. You can type the value I've actually picked here so you won't go wrong. That actually works because I've tested it so you can see it works. 1N4001 GP, that's just general purpose. So you can say 1 and 4,000. 1 GPS, that, and then press that. And also you have the power supply, DC supply, so you go down to sources, power sources, DC power, and you pick that, and then you can change the values, because we have to do that, we have to keep changing the value of the, the supply. And also you need the ground, for this circuit to work on multisim and after all these items you need three multimeters one in series to act as a meter and two in parallel to act as voltmeters so you pick those voltmeters multimeters here from here in this corner multimeter you bring it here and drag it there drop it there and at the moment we've done that so this is your circuit you double click on each one of these multimeters to get the readings and drag them to where you want them next to the meter so you know which one's which. The practice, this practice can be used as part of an assignment or assessment for BTEC level 3 in electrical electronic engineering. So in this case, you'll be asked to set a target, make a table such as this, Target current is in milliamps 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 30. Diode bias voltage in millivolts and actual diode, diode current in milliamps. So you can set this table in Excel like I've done here. And ignore the values for now. I'll explain all that and ignore this graph. All you will have is a is an empty table with these titles on top of them. Target current, diode bias voltage, and actual current in, in milliamps. Target current you just set again the same as your table in the question uh, from zero to however much you want. Gone all the way to 14. I don't think it's gonna change after that. So that's your current target. In the circuit, what it means is you have to set the voltage. This is your. This is in practice. If this was a practical uh, exercise, you would have to change, turn the knob on the power supply or power source from zero all the way until this reading for this current of the circuit is about one milliamps. So I've picked different values from one volt and 1.2 by random. I've started from uh, small values of the voltage uh, till I get and kept simulating it. So I've picked, let's say, one point. Let's change this to one point by random. Let's say you've changed, you, you, you picked one volt to begin with. 
and what you do you simulate and you get that much so this is not one milliamp yet this is just over half a milliamp current and make sure by the way your multimeters are set this is a meter DC and these are voltmeters DC volt DC and so I switch it off again and go and change that you keep changing it till you get as close as possible to one milliamp. I think this is the closest I've got. I don't want to go, I can go closer, but I don't want to change the voltage in um, like ridiculous amount three, four dec uh, decimals. I don't want to have four decimals or three decimals even. I want to have not more than two decimals value because that won't be realistic when you're dealing with a practical actual uh, supply voltage all you have in front of you is one maybe two knobs to alter the voltage so uh, with the fine tune maybe you can get uh, as close as this you can't you can't be too accurate so this is your realistic value 1.45 volts gives you almost 1 milliamps or 994 microamps which is almost Mm, one milliamps. If you go a little bit over, if I increase it so you can see what I mean, because some people might think that's not milliamps, that's, mi that's microamps, yes, but microamps 994 is almost as close as one milliamp. You see, next thing up 1.5, it just gave you one milliamp. You could choose this one if you want. and record your voltages once you've got the setting done and you think that is the closest for that voltage for that target current uh, your, your target current is one amp your actual current is 1.4042 which is what you get if you have this again. So let's say your actual current is 994.5353 microamps so you put that value there um, when I did this table uh, obviously my voltage my current was different I chose a different voltage so let's see if I change that to 1.5 volts This is 1.042 milliamps. That's, that's exactly what we got here. So your target is 1 amps. By the voltage that you've picked here, your actual current is 1.042. And you can record that. So target is 1. By the voltage you've picked, you've got this much, this much current. The actual current and you do the same for the rest your actual your target current next target current is two so i need more voltage 2.5 is two so 2.5 it gives me two milliamps or two point that is two milliamps two uh, point Zero zero. I ignore the third decimal, so it's two milliamps at 2.5 volts. So my target was two, my actual is almost two. And you measure the voltage at that point, voltage of the diode uh, to, to record it there. So we recorded the current, actual current, and the diode voltage. The diode voltage is this one, not that one, it's this one. That one was just there to begin with, so you would have one volt across this to begin with, because that was part of the requirement of the, uh, the assignment. But we, we just, we just did, we didn't pay attention to that one. We wanted to make the target current. Uh, for that, your voltage is, for the voltage of the diode, for what bias mode is 499 millivolts, and you record that there. Not 0.4994, or you could say everything is millivolts, 499 millivolts. 
and once you've done all that you've recorded everything again to get a graph of that uh, the actual current in milliamps graph you just highlight both of them and go to charts and that's what you get that's your current this is your current and this is your voltage in, in volts so we've recorded in volts so you get in volts <coughs> and that's your current and as you see as you see voltage uh, th there is no current in the circuit up until uh, when the voltage is increased up to about uh, 0 0.6 0 0.6 then you have an increase in current and uh, about 0 0.7 you have maximum current which is um, correct because a diode usually has a regional uh, voltage for the depletion region to break through uh, of about 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 volts for it to conduct in the forward bias mode and you can do this practice in the reverse mode it will be the same similar thing you just put this diode the reverse mode uh, in the reverse direction so you put this cathode on top and at, at the bottom and you do the reverse uh, and, and you'll see by increasing the voltage you won't have any current going through it or if you have it's very very minimal uh, you, you're talking less than microamps even by increasing the voltage to maybe tens of volts or depending on what type of diode you use it might be even hundreds of volts before you, you have a bridge uh, break through current right uh, this was your forward bias mode conduction of a general purpose diode uh, and how to get a graph of uh, fill the table and get a graph of the current of the forward bias mode uh, diode I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any co questions or comments don't hesitate to ask or uh, comment below Thank you very much and hope to see you again on Tavasoli's electrical training channel. Bye-bye.